Hi, my name is Juba Kalamka. What makes me queer? What makes me queer? I would I would probably say what makes me queer, at least at least in my mind, is the idea that uh, I, that is that is is my awareness that in order to be in order and in, in order to do um, in order to achieve the things that make me happy and that make me whole and that make me well um, and that allow me to encourage that in people who I care about and, and just my engagements in community and with people um, are always about and in, in, in pushing against ideas and, and, and spaces of, of, of normativity I would say uh, pushing against uh, purity mythology um, or the idea that there is one way or that there is a normal way uh, to do or to be uh, and and particularly I would say because in my at least in my experience and I say in the experience of many of the people I know and people I've been familiar with in my life that uh, that normativity is 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 toxic uh, and it really discourages uh, people from being their whole and complete selves, whatever their whole and complete selves are. I mean, that, I'm, when I say that, I'm not saying that about creating another normativity and deciding that what that is for someone else. But I think that's what queers me, and that's either if it's sexually, if it's pers if it's personally, any conversation, any of the conversations, or any of the, the vectors or sort of intersections of my life. I would say that that's what makes me that that is what that is what makes me queer. It's a, I I hope to enjoy myself whenever I'm doing that. That would be the first thing. Um, I, I feel it's a, a privilege and something that to re really be able to cool to be able to be paid uh, to for, for doing uh, doing queer porn for doing uh, for doing things that I would be doing anyway. Uh, that's a that's just a mountain a gob of, of privilege to be able to to do that. And I think that in whichever ways that is possible, uh, I hope that if 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 just as an example of. Uh, someone being them, someone being themselves, someone having the opportunity to be themselves. That uh, I, and this is it. I would say this is in any work that I do, and with people that I work with, with any art or activism or any, or any kind of thing I'm involved with, with uh, is uh, encouraging uh, the spa encouraging spaces and encouraging opportunities for people to uh, actualize uh, themselves. Uh, and I, and and queer porn is one of those those spaces in which I see that happen. I've had and I've had the opportunity to work with numerous people uh, who are interest in, interested in that, interested in that idea, and interested in creating work and creating spaces uh, uh, for that. Uh, and uh, if and and getting off is a part of that uh, in people's li in, in people's lives. I want people to be able to, to, to get off whichever the way that they able to get off and that that keep them happy and keep them healthy and, and keep them continuing to continuing to do that and find and doing that the way that they've been doing that and finding more ways to do that if that's something that they that they happen to be interested in. Uh, I would say if throughout my uh, life what I've what I've tried to do and I think that that's come with a better understanding of, of, of who I am and what I want and I would say uh, being being able to be honest about who I am and and what I want being able to bring my whole self and not feel like I have to leave any part of myself uh, uh, to whatever relationship I have that's saying whatever depth that relationship is whatever intensity that relationship is I mean if that's in uh, what for better or worse it would be called my primary uh, romantic relationships or relationships that are uh, less intense with regard to their emotional timber or the time that I, I, I spend with them. Uh, I would say being able to bring my best, my best self um, um, and being able to, being able to articulate when um, I'm not always able to bring my, when I'm not always able to bring my best self and to be able to talk about uh, whatever that is and whatever that is and whatever that might be in, the, in, in that moment. That's something that's been really uh, important to me. I think that as opposed to saying, I mean, I think that a lot of times I've had conversations with people who would say, would talk about uh, being able to be safe 
within relationships and the, and that's not something that's always something that's necessarily in, important to me. I think that it's important for me to be able to be honest uh, wherever I am. That's something that I've worked on. I, I can't and I wouldn't I wouldn't pretend to say that that's something that I've always been, but that's always something that I've I've I worked that I work towards and that I have relationships of uh, varying degrees of I say of emotional um, and emotional intensity and, and intensity of and, and specificity of time that I try to bring my best self to um, at at all times, but making sure that people f feel that they they they're able to bring with and bring to me whatever it is uh, that they they need to bring to me based upon uh, whatever agreement that we have about that relationship in the moment and how that relationship might evolve be evolving over time, being able to be as as true um, as possible. Who do I look up to as a sexual icon or role model or a queer icon? The the late uh, black gay filmmaker, um, an artist and dancer, uh, Marlon Riggs. Uh, I, I was 19 years old when I saw the film Tongues Untied, uh, and uh, really, it what it really represented to me. Uh, it, it just opened up, it opened uh, not just a world, but worlds for me of, of possibility of the idea um, that I could be, I could be a black man, a queer man, uh, an, an educated man, a freak, um, an artist, uh, a b-boy, uh, a, 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 a musician, or whatever it is, a parent. Uh, whatever it is, it was it was that I wanted to be, um, that I could be, that I could I could love, that I could in, engage, and again, as I was saying before, uh, the possibility um, of being many different things at the same time, uh, sexually, uh, and and how I didn't have to separate those things from from the other the other parts of myself, that I didn't have to leave parts of myself at the door um, and when I say that about him and his work that's not about um, romanticizing um, anything uh, about it because there were ways that I'm that, and I, I would say that there's a that comes with I mean when I speak about his work I, I, I have to say that I had the privilege of, of meeting people who participated in him participating in his work and uh, and became friends with them and got to know about him and about the communities that he had engaged but uh, his work really served, and that film in particular uh, served as this this really this life raft for me at that particular time in my life, um, because it was I was really kind of at 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 a, at a crossroads. So that doesn't really have a kind of no way to, to speak about in terms of figuring out who I was and, and what I wanted to be, and a lot of things I was not talking about and did not feel safe to ar articulate that that film articulated uh, for me. Um, and for many other um, other people, and it's something that I return to uh, all the uh, all the time, uh, in terms of saying that that my sex that that my my sexual self uh, is a constant, um, but it's constant. Who I am as a sexual being, uh, I don't have to be talking about that, but. Uh, my particular, my sensibilities around that, my desires around that, my needs around that, my wants around that, my notions around that, constantly inform uh, who I am and and, and cross inform uh, the work that I do, the art that I do, the relationships um, that I have, the need, the need and the ability to be to be free um, around that, and uh, and and the way that he encouraged that, and the way that he consistently you know worked with that, and particularly the urgency with which he did that because he was dying while he was. Um, making the film, um, but he knew that he was pushing for something uh, that was uh, that was going to be past his lifespan, and people who for people who he would never meet, and people who he would what who would get to see, he wanted to leave something uh, for them, and that was something um, that was really important to me. With about his mo that his motivations were larger than him, were larger than himself, and just weren't about himself. But the, but but all of him was was there at the same at the same time that he was doing that. What do I like to do when I'm not having sex? Uh, a lot of different things. Um, I like cooking. I like food. Uh, I like I, I like music. I like uh, 
uh, perform, performing music, making music, talking about music, uh, any kind of geekery uh, is good for you. And that's whatever, the, if, if, that's, if that's geeking about uh, baseball in particular, uh, if it's geeking about BDSM, if it's geeking about uh, pictures of puppies, <laughs> uh, children, uh, uh, working with young people, um, working with uh, working in community, serving um, is something I like to do. Is something that's really important uh, important to do. Uh, family is something that's really impo Im important to me, and that's uh, that that's. Uh, some of the blood family I have and some of the family, the, the large family of affinity um, that I have um, in community. Um, and uh, a big part of that being about uh, finding ways with the things that I'm doing to, to give back in ways that have been given, uh, that have been given to me and creating, cr trying to create opportunities for people and opportunities for the community that have been afforded to me uh, the way uh, uh, that have been afforded to me for creating opportunities that have been for other people for, in the in the manner that which they've been afforded um, to me is something that's really big um, and something that takes up a lot of takes up a lot of my time. Nice. I like how you have a very sort of open definition about geekery. A lot of people seem to have this very like you know these few things are you know geek sort of things. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, I've had a hard time with that for a really long, for a really long time. Just, I mean, just the idea. It's like you know, if I mean, actually, I, and I think really what sort of concretized my sort of broadening of that was actually I went to a, a queer people of color uh, BDSM uh, event, and uh, it really surprised me that there were some people who were there, and what they were talking about was like they had gone to Home Depot. Or something, and and had bought all of these little, if it was like little widgets and little things to use for clamps and and mm -hmm. and you know and stuff, and just the whole process around like this this particular obsessiveness, and the, the, not just the obsessiveness, but the joy yeah. with which they, that they were taking with which like look what I found. I bet you didn't know you could do, you know this with this little thing over you know over here and it was really the first time that I had actually ever seen in action I won't say it's the first time I seen in action but the first time I recognized it as well this is just like someone pouring over basketball stats mm -hmm. you know or collecting baseball cards or you know collecting cook what collecting cookbooks or 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 what or even like academic or critical theory you know you know sitting around and arguing with someone you know about that kind of stuff it's that, that, that it's all, you know, it's all the, you know, uh, the same. It's all this kind of, the same kind of thing, yeah, you know, for, for me. Sure. But it's like, and again, like you said, that they're probably, that any number of people were problematized by the idea of, like, oh, yeah. a, you know, steampunk is, you know, that's geekery. Right. You know, but there, but there are lots of people who are involved in that would not, you know, going to Dickens Fair, or going to Ren, that kind of stuff, that's, that's, geek, that's geekery, you know, but there are people who would not qualify it, you know, as that. You know, Burning Man, whatever it is, you know, <laughs> that, that people want to do. What I think about that, about normativity being so toxic, is just that the idea is that that people that people aren't static. You know, people, you know, you know, aren't, people move. People, you know, congeal and then separate and then, you know, and evaporate and, and do all kinds of different, you know, things. And this idea that there's this one state or insisting that there's this one particular way to be and that's either in a particular moment or across someone's lifetime and that's about sex or just about you know people's evolving notions of their own other parts of their I, um, identity if they I think that that's like that's something that uh, decays people's you know you know their soul for, for back of lack of a better word of just this idea that they have to be this one you know this one particular thing or this one particular one particular way or the idea that, that what makes them safe or what makes them real or what that makes them good is being able to disallow someone, you know, their humanity or their personhood, um, whatever they feel like that that, uh, that, that is uh, for them. Um, um, I, I, I mean, just it's just kind of like, you know, just in sort of, it's, I mean, it's, it's a cliche that people relate to it as it's true, but like, you know, you can't move, you know, and be free 
you know, if you, you know, got your foot on somebody's neck, you know, because you can't, you know, because you can't move, you, you got to stand there to, you know, you have to stay where you are to keep that foot, you know, on someone's neck, you know, and if like, if you got, if you got a chain around someone, you know, you got, and, and you're maintaining that, you got to hold, you can't go and do whatever it is that you want to do because you can't hold, you, you're still holding that, you know, that chain. You can't go and be who you are. Who you are is defined by like the way that you're attempting to constrict um, someone's personhood or whatever, what, you know, whatever that is. Um, and I think, that, I don't think people really think about it um, um, that way. And it's, you know, and, and, and there's the way that it uh, prevents people from you know, from, from finding out what they're, you know, the idea of what it's about, because it's really about fear, you know, and it's about what people trying to figure out what their joy or their joys or their joyousness might be, um, that they can't do that because they're too busy, you know, trying to keep somebody else from, you know, doing their, you know, doing their thing. Um, and I, I think that's what, you know, that, that there's a way that it, you know, it, it does something to people, you know, it does something to your stomach, you know, I think. Uh, by by you know by by investing in this i you know this this idea that um, you know whatever that is if that's about you know you know a, a race construct a gender construct a, a sexuality uh, construct or class or whatever whatever or the convergences or ability or you know or age or the, or the convergences of all of all of those things the idea that I, I am make I am made real, or I will make myself real, or I will make myself worthy by otherizing somebody else, you know, or otherizing this particular group, or otherizing these ideas, or this particular uh, space, you know, and doing what you could be, what what you could be doing, you know, and I think that this, and I think, and I think that a part of that too is this idea that people think that what makes them real is is being able to pretend that they know every moment of the day or every moment of the time as opposed to because and, and I think that it's like you can't you can't seek you know you can't go you can't you know go get it you can't go find if you're you know if you you know holding on to it like that and that's not saying I don't understand fear you know and I don't understand trepidation but um, the idea of uh, that that you get made real or that you get made whole by telling somebody else what they you know what, what they, they can or can't you know, do is 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 ridiculous. It's 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 silly. I have the right you know shirt, you know, and the right suit. You know that I'll be okay because you know this over this overculture, uh, an overcultural force has told me that if I get this particular thing, that I'm going to be okay, and that if nobody else has that, that this is what makes me better, what makes me okay with you know relative to to them. But but how people don't understand that. You know, it's it's just never ending. It's like if you you can get the right suit, and then the next day your your shoes not gonna be right, mm -hmm. and the next day your shoestring's not gonna be right, and then the next day you know you're not gonna have the right haircut, or you're not. It's it's just never you know ending because what that machine is about is about making you you know it's about make it's about making you lack because that's how the machine keeps going because they can't get you to keep feeding it. You know, if you don't you know if you don't think that there's if you don't think that you need the machine, so to speak. For sure. You know, and I think that's what I mean. I, I think that's that's where people get where people get caught. You know, and that's not saying. And when I say that, I should say I, I should should say it. I should be clear that I'm not saying that that's there's never you know a space. You know, I'm a person. I, I shouldn't say that that was never a space that you know that I've existed since I was a teenager. You know, I never had that space to to some degree. You know, other maybe not. You know, but. But again, like when we're talking about normativity, I mean, it's like that's that comes in all kinds of different forms. So, you know, like everybody experiences that, and it's just something to think about, just in terms of um, always trying to be always trying to be aware of that, you know, and, and or being aware of the slippage in this in this and it's like we still people, and that, that even when we're still working on that, that we can constantly, you know, potentially we can constantly come, potentially come back to those kinds of spaces where we're doing we're, we're behaving like that towards people. So I'm always trying to check myself about that as well.